welcome to mid-April through mid-May love readings. My love readings run from the middle of the month to the middle of the next month because we have these videos here, the career and money readings, as well as your general readings already. And so this kind of keeps you on track as the month goes on. This is for your moon sign. And I know you're like, why? Why not my Venus? Why not my sun? This video right here is going to tell you exactly why that is. Just trust me, it's going to resonate more. Um, you'll know why if you watch that video or, you know, just trust me, whatever. This month, I'm going to use a couple different decks and my awesome assistant might kind of edit into the video here what that will, what they look like, okay? And then in the description box below, if you're wondering what that is, there's links there. Um, and if you click on the link and you want to buy one, I, I'm not selling them but it's their affiliate links, which is great for me because I have to make money, you know, as well. So hopefully that'll work. Uh, what else? Let's just get started, I guess, then. Um, so the way these love readings work is we're going to look at predictions for singles, couples, and then for those in it's complicated situations. So you might be polyamorous, you might be in an on again, off again relationship. Maybe you're just talking to each other, but you haven't really met yet because of coronavirus. And so you're wondering what that's going to be like later, you know, when you can see each other, whatever. Um, I'm going to break it into those three categories and we're going to look at what the general vibe is this month, what you um really want or at least what you think you want then what do you actually need what's going to be the best thing to happen in your love life this month and then what's the biggest challenge going to be and then kind of just overall general advice so let's get started what's your love vibe for this end of this month first half of next month they're like within the next few weeks everything's gonna change and I think it's gonna change for the better. So what is it that you think you want in looking for a partner in relationships? You want somebody with patience. Um, and you also wanna be able to see that you are patient in the process and in finding a partner because you're kind of coming to this point where you're like trusting the universe that everything happens in the right time in the right way in divine order and it's out of your control, especially within like pandemic times, right? Like. Eh, this is gonna happen or it isn't when it is or it isn't, honestly. Like, people are social distancing, like I can't go out and meet you or whatever. So so that's good that you're kind of comfortable with that, okay? Now, um, what is it that you actually need? Well, right now, it's like you kind of don't need to talk to anyone or really look at anyone or start conversations right now. And the reason for that it's because right now is about how do I feel? What do I really want? What's important to me? If you're not really sure on that, then it's going to be hard to attract the right partner. Um, if you look in the description box below, there's a link to my blogs and then there's some tips on manifesting the person that you want. But then on the freebies page, there's also a worksheet that will help you to do that. And you don't have to put in your email address and, and like be spammed or anything stupid like that to get it. You just go, you click on it and then you have it and you can print it off or you know you can refer to it and save it on your phone whatever the fuck you want okay so i put those there because the whole point of doing re these readings like i don't get paid for these right is to help people and so anyway that's there if you want it if you don't fuck it whatever but i think it would be very helpful because so far that's what the cards are saying is um kind of the theme of the reading. You know, figuring out how I feel, what do I want, what do I need, and then once we kind of determine that, it can come to pass. But if we never have an idea about those things, then we can't ever really start attracting them. You know what I mean? Then we kind of just get like a variety of things, but more often we're unlucky than we are lucky in those kinds of situations. So, very important. Um, what will be the best thing that happens to you in your love life this month um, that you get to really kind of understand what it is that you want, what it is that you feel? Um, and you might even kind of come into this place where you're feeling really good about you and who you are and having and starting to build and grow more self-esteem and self-worth which, you know, is going to serve you in so many ways in the future, not just in your love life, but, you know, as far as even getting promotions and things like that. So anyway, um, what is going to be the biggest challenge? And they're saying the biggest challenge is luck. You know, some people are going to have more luck than other people. Um, for some people, it's like 
luck is just working in your favor and they kind of just deliver what you want to your doorstep, whereas others of you, it might not be the case. And the reason why I um, am bringing this up here is because sometimes we do all of this manifesting work and like we heal our old wounds and we make sure that we're ready for the right relationship. But the person who is meant to be with us for our entire lives, like our true life partner, okay, um, they might not have done all of their shit yet. They might still be in a relationship with somebody else, you know, and maybe they're considering divorce, but they haven't done it yet. Or maybe they're still building their career so that when, by the time that they get to you, who's been sitting here waiting, you know, ready for it, trying to draw them in, that they actually have the time to spend with you, to focus on your needs, to build a great life with you, instead of having to, you know, kind of distance themselves and be career focused and then maybe not be their the best possible partner for you. And so it's like some of you are going to have luck and others of you maybe not as much. And so that's going to be the biggest challenge, but it's kind of like on autopilot and very easy for you once you figure out what you want. Things happen in the right time in the right way. The universe will put you together when the timing is right, so long as you know what you're asking for. You have to ask for it before they can um, kind of try to fulfill your order. You don't open up your Bite Squad app and you know it's got your address already preset in there and then just close it and like expect that somebody's going to show up with exactly what you wanted at the door you have to place your fucking order you have to know what you want do i want a sandwich do i want a pizza do i want crab legs like figure it out ask for it determine that you right and then the universe can bring it but like they, they're not bringing anything or maybe they're going to bring you something but it might not be what you want unless you do that. So that's the biggest guidance, but it's a very easy month for you. Um, you might not get what you want. It sounds like you're not gonna get what you want in this month, right? Through the end of April into the first half of May. But they're saying, you know, coming up pretty soon, pretty soon, you know, if you do the work now, it's gonna pay off for you in the next couple months. So I think it's I, awesome. I'm really happy and excited for you. Um, anyway, so if you are coupled, What's the love vibe? They're like, within the next few weeks, your partner's going to have your back a lot more. Um, so what is it that you think you want? You wanna be patient. This is so funny because it's very similar to um, another reading that I did recently. I don't remember who's, maybe Pisces. Anyway, um, but you know, single Tauruses also have this vibe where it's like, I want to be patient and I want to understand that everything happens for a reason in the right time, in the right way, when it's supposed to happen, like, you know, that's fate, it's destiny, whatever. But, you know, even though you want to be patient, what do you actually need? And they're like, some stuff's going down in the workplace, whether that means that you're furloughed right now or there's just like chaos and drama or you have to work a lot or, you know, whatever. Like there's some things going on and maybe you're picking up on them. They might not have anything to do with you, but they might be affecting the workplace vibe. Um, and so what's happening with that is that there's a need for you to reevaluate the way that you're thinking about things, your own perspective on things, because if you don't do that, right, then it's gonna kind of bleed and feed into the vibe at home or with your partner, even if you don't live together, you know, like in your phone conversations or your FaceTimes or whatever. And um, although in the next couple of weeks, your partner is gonna have your back, okay, on whatever it is you decide to do about this situation, if you're gonna decide to do anything about it. Um, but it could cause a little bit of strain and tension in your communication if we don't kind of like leave that separate. Um, like leave work at work as much as you can, even though it's good to like vent and open up and share, um, you might wanna do that with a bestie instead of your partner, okay? Um, so what is going to be the best thing that happens in your relationship this month? And they're like, for some of you, it's just kind of like, okay, this relationship, like, I know that it's not a forever thing, and that's a good thing. Um, for the rest of you that are not there, um, it's more of, I know that this current situation and circumstance with our finances, with our work-life balance, with all of these things that are very material, like, 
um, our job, our home, our bills, our money, um, you know, our long-term planning. This is just like a temporary period of time and it's not always going to be this way. Um, so the, and that kind of correlates to that whole thing about patience. You know, it's like everything's going to change and happen the way that it's supposed to and having that faith. And so, um, you know, the fact that uh, there's a lot of impermanence this month to those situations is actually a good thing because in recognizing that, you don't lash out and freak out and have stress and strain with your partner. So um, the biggest challenge is going to be to connect deeply and be super vulnerable and open and emotional with them. Um, you might not feel as emotionally like and deeply bonded and connected. And it doesn't mean the love isn't there. It's just like you're not really on that vibe so much. Um, so that might make some of you feel like, oh, this relationship sucks and it's hopeless. Well, for some of you it is. And, you know, you know this relationship isn't permanent. Maybe it's just like we have to live together until quarantine's <laughs> over. So let's just get through the day. Um, but for others of you, that that's not the case in the way that you feel about your partner. It's just like kind of frustrating and you're almost like, what is it that I should be doing and how do I fix this? Like, is it even fixable? And they're like, this is why, where your intentions are important. Like, what do you want from this relationship? How do you want it to look? What do you want your partner to do that would make you feel better? Like, what do you need more of in your relationship? Identify what those things are and then start to manifest it into your life and into your relationship, okay? so. Um, is there anything else they want to tell you? And they're just like, the past doesn't represent the future. Like, you know, things don't always stay the same. So you really don't have anything to be afraid of. Like I said, all of these stressors right now that you guys are feeling, like all this weirdness, because there is a, there's a little bit of weirdness in your relationship. Um, it's not permanent. It's going to go away. So that's it. Um, if you're in a complicated situation, your love vibe is the same exact thing as the singles and the couples. Within the next few weeks, things are totally gonna change, okay? Now, um, what is it that you think you want? Oh my gosh, same thing here too. You think you wanna be patient and accept that things happen in the right time in the right way and you don't wanna be doubtful and you just wanna like trust God and the universe and your spirit guides and your angels and like faith and shit like that. Um, so what is it though that you actually need? Oh my gosh, this is so redundant. You should totally go back and watch um, probably the singles and the couples because there's gonna be pieces that resonate there for you based on your situation, your complicated situation. Um, okay, stuff's going on at work. You gotta change the way that you think about things, your perspective on that. Um, and why am I bringing up work right now? in regards to your complicated situation? Well, because it's gonna like, it's one of these things, what doesn't kill you, kill what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? And so um, the way that you're thinking about things and stuff, like if it's really weighing you down and it's stressing you out and it's killing your mood and it's killing your vibe, then it's killing your situation and your ability to bond and you know kind of grow something or get what you want from your situation, okay? Um, it could create miscommunications and things like that. So just kind of be aware of the way that you are viewing these circumstances surrounding money and work and career and stuff like that. Um, and I mean, I know that you're already trying to be patient um, and you kind of know that things are gonna shift and change around, but just try not to bring any of that stress into this situation, if that makes sense. Because then it's like, instead of just having like this one problem with work, career, whatever, um, now I have two problems in like dealing with with these bitches. Okay, so that's the point. Um, what is the best thing that's gonna happen in your love life this month? And they're like, there's nothing to be afraid of. There's nothing to be scared of. You know, like I mean, kind of like no news is good news. Okay, um, what's going to be the biggest challenge for you to determine what's gonna satisfy you, right? In this situation, what's gonna make you happy? Because I think once you get what you want, you might be like, okay, now what, right? And so identifying that, what do you value? What do you desire? What do you want from this? That's really important. And so they're saying, if you can figure that out, you get really lucky and you get a lot of the things that you want. But a lot of us just kind of don't know. And so um, in the description box below, there's a link to a page on my website called Freebies where um, you can do this worksheet that helps you really determine what it is that you want in relationships and life in general. 
the life in general one is yellow, which I kind of think you need. Um, but then also the pink one is the one in relationships and in a partner and things like that. You don't have to put in an email address or anything like that. Like I'm not going to capture your information. It's just like there to help you get what you want. Because the whole point of doing these, I don't get paid for them, is to, I mean, you do. I'm You make like like $100 every six months <laughs> from from YouTube. Um, so anyway, um, the point is, like I do these to help people, to make your life better, right? To, to kind of help you navigate your life because the more happy people walking around the world, the better everybody's life gets, right? Like the conscious collective. So I love you so much and I'll see you next month. <laughs>